Okay, just got done washing this Kuhn High 10 and I dried it out. I'm going to show you how to make a mountain man's coonskin hat. The way they did it in Frontier, the way you would have done it on a trail. Um, got it all tanned here and we have the head. I'm going to show you how I cut everything out and it's pretty simple. You just stick with the basics. This is going to be more like an adjustable hat also. So let's... Okay, after I washed it out, it's drying a little bit here. It's not quite dry, but I sanded everything with 100 grit sandpaper. That makes it nice and smooth. And then what I did, I took it from the back legs and I took my parallel or straight edge, anything you want to use and I just took it in line with that back leg see how it runs there and I just took it like this and I held it straight behind the front legs right here would have been the leg in the front so I cut them legs off and then I did the same with the other side also so then I have it coming this way and you have to tell what size your head is for what you need to cut out. And that's kind of how I did it. I took the front of it, the coon head, and I just chopped it right off. And we're going to put that on later. But I sanded it, stretched it. Then I have this that wraps around your head. So the front of your head, you're going to have to hold it like this. So that way these two feet get tucked in. You have to take your time and tuck them nice when you sew it. So you know how to cut that front. You mark the tip of your head right here where it hits, where it would be a normal hat, and the corners you let hang down a little lower, like half inch lower. What I did was, took my hat brim, and I'll show you, this tip that I marked for my forehead, I put my hat brim right on it. That's basically all you need to do. And then these edges right here were what I marked on the sides of my head. Um, you just kind of got to use your ingenuity. I kind of centered that and then I held my parallel off my hat rim, my line there, and then I did the same with this side. Held on the edge of the hat rim, and then you know how much to cut out into the Miller cuts. So there's your round. Alright, I'm going to show you how I fold this hat. I just tuck that in right there where my finger is. And I come around to the front like one of them uh, Western Prairie hats. And I did the same with the other side. I tuck it down and come to the front. So you want to center it right here. And then your other coonskin head goes over top and it joins these two ears. So we're folding it and we're going to take it down to the work. Hopefully you can see how you fold this here. And I just took that creased edge there and ran it up about a, about a half inch. That'll hold it good. And I'll come up in the fur about a half inch. And I have a bank line here is what I'm using. So now we have this through. Now you have it pinned. Nothing to it now. Uh, what you can do is you just tie it shut. This will be the start so you can get an idea how it works. Okay, we got these two folds stitched temporarily and now we're ready to put the head on. I'll show you basically how we're going to do it. 
is we'll put it on. We'll get our head up here. And we'll mark that to where it looks good. And then we know we're okay. I put it on my head, looked at it, I decided that looks good right above the eyes, top of the eyes are, right in the tip of that. That's where we're going to put it. So we're going to stitch it fast. Okay, here's the flap right here at my finger and my thumb. Right there is the flap coming in. This is the head right there. We have the flap and then we have the front. And we're going to use our pocket fisher friend, pocket fisherman's friend, and I'll get my uh, bank line here. Get a nice piece. Something that you can thread. Here's a real nice piece. Okay. So, what I do. I do the same thing. Come down a half inch. You're in a half inch and on the flap that comes in where I showed you in the middle. You come in a half inch, down a half inch, and in your head of the coon a half inch. So now you got it all running in there good. Just come out with it. Okay, now that I got the flap coming front stitched and the head and the front of your hat where we marked with the brim stitched, now I'm going to take the fishing kit again and I'm going to go a half inch in on each thing straight through the hat. I fold it this tab in so it looks pretty. So now we're going to go back through that double layer, a half inch down, half inch in, half inch the same way on the flap, right straight through everything and in our hat. And we'll do the same with the other side. Okay, I came straight through and I'm just going to go a half inch above, quote, well, three eighths quarter above because you don't want it to pinch right here right where we came out from the flap. We're going to go up through the hide. Paying attention the whole way. Coming out 3 eighths above the last stitch. So here's our needle coming up. See it right there? Okay, now we're going to do the same. Square knot it off. Okay, we're square knotting the other side. Right over left. Tighten it. Left over right. Okay, now that we got all this stitched, we're going to fasten the head up front here at my thumb. And I'm just going to take and do a couple stitches across here and one to hold the back side here and then you're done. It's simple. It's a mountain man hat. We stitched the head fast right down here and right up there and we have all our stitching in there as we showed you and it makes a nice round hat and that's the way the mountain men did it. And we just cut all the loose uh, bank line off. Indifferent, but you're always
All right, we got our coon skin hat done, boys. And uh, like Jeremiah says, let's uh, get her done. And uh, got a nice coon head in the front. Sides turned out real well. Got a tail, sheds the water right off her neck. And uh, we're set for the mountain.